Hey everybody, this is Professor Guffey, and I wanted to give you a little more information here about the IRAC system of writing legal answers and analyzing cases. This can be frustrating for a lot of students. Honestly, especially for business students, you are used to things having an answer, and the law simply doesn't work that way. Yes, there are principles and laws that are very, very black and white, but the role of the lawyer is to find a way to spin, if you want to look at it that way, or craft the argument in such a way that the jury or the judge, depending on who you're having the hearing in front of, looks at it from your point of view. So I understand that the problem I gave you can be a little on the frustrating side because when you look at it, it can have more than one answer. That's very, very deliberate on my part. It's all about the quality of your argument. So I understand the frustration, and let me point out a couple of things to you. First off, if you have not looked at the video guide to the appendix that I posted back in week one, go back and do that. It's a five and a half minute video, and it's all about how to analyze cases, and about half of that is devoted to Iraq. If you're not using the tools that I'm providing in the class, you're making things a lot harder on yourself, and if that's how you want to do things, that's fine, but I really recommend you use the things that I post. Do that, then come to me with questions. And honestly, I'm assuming that's what you're doing here. If you get into that video and it won't open, I've posted this in a couple of places. What you do is click on the title bar. I don't know why that works with Canvas, but it does. There are times when YouTube does not want to play with Canvas, and it'll say it won't connect. Click on the title bar of the grayed out screen, and it opens like clockwork. So let's take a look here at the important role of law and argument, and then we're going to step through things, okay? As I said, the whole role of the lawyer is to find the facts that really lean toward the way you want things to go. All of you by now, because because of the nature of this class, all of you have taken a course in constructing argument at this point. So you know that situations can have more than one answer and arguments can have more than one side. Those are the skills that you're using here. The only thing IRAC does is give you a framework. So let's take a look at this. Keep in mind, when you're using IRAC, Issue, rule, analysis, conclusion. You're going to work through it in that order. Use the framework. It's there to help you, not to hinder you. So the very first thing you need to do is state the issue that's presented by the case or the question. What is the legal question that determines the result of the case? This should be phrased as a question in a specific format. You don't want to just say, will the plaintiff win? That's, that's way too big. What's the issue? What do you have to prove in order for the plaintiff to win? Or in order for, for your client to win, if you want to look at it that way. So the... Um, in the example I gave you about an agency, in the, in the sample I gave you, will the plaintiff win? That, that's not going to work. That's, that's general. It's a yes-no question, which we refer to as a closed question. Those, those are not useful. You want an open question. Um, is there an agency relationship if there was no compensation paid? Is there an agency created whenever there is an employment relationship? Things like that. That gets you into the rule. Now, this is going to describe what law or what legal test applies to the issue. 
This needs to be stated as a general legal principle, not a conclusion. That's a C. We get there in a bit. So, all right, looking, looking at how we're going to put this together. If the issue is, um, is an agency created whenever there is an employment relationship, if you try to give the rule as the plaintiff was the defendant's agent, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't work. It doesn't. You're trying to give a general legal principle here. So an agency relationship is created whenever there is an agreement that the agent will act for the benefit of the principal, blah, 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 blah. Give the rule that applies here. That's what you're doing. So far, none of this has to do with the specific facts of the case. The issue and the rule, um, honestly, are general. Okay? They're general. The analysis is when we're going to get specific. And that's why this is going to be the longest, most important part of your answer. Because here, you're applying the rule that you have stated to the facts of this specific problem or question. Don't just state the conclusion, okay? Don't. That's C. And we're not there. We're in A. Use the facts to explain how the rule leads to the conclusion. That's what you're doing here. So this is where you're going to pick out both the important facts that support the way you want the case to go, and you're going to minimize the facts that go against you. You're going to explain why those don't really matter, okay? What you're trying to do here is show that your answer is going to be right, all right? And if you're not specific, if you're not taking the time to really craft this, you're not going to be convincing. You are not going to succeed, all right? So after you've laid all that out, what you're really doing, again, is making it airtight that you are right. These are the facts that fulfill the rule. Now, remember, you might have something like in a negligence case, for instance, you have multiple factors that have to be fulfilled. Keep in mind, with something like negligence, if you're missing one of the factors, um, for instance, if, if there is no duty, the whole thing falls apart. If you can't fulfill part of them and win, you have to you have to succeed on every single one. So if it's multi-part, break it down. Okay, do each factor. Don't skim. All right, this is a law class. We reward careful, thoughtful structure. The C is super short. This is your conclusion. This is your ultimate answer to the issue. And it can be something as simple as, based on the analysis, no valid contract was formed between X and Y. All right? The big part is the analysis. Keep in mind, in addition to giving you the video to the appendix, I have provided you with using the Iraq structure and writing legal answers. That includes a sample that will kind of walk you through it. It's not that there is only one answer. I am far more interested in the quality of your analysis. You give me half an analysis, you're going to get half the points. That's just the way of things, okay? This, honestly, is not a term paper. You should be able to do this in two pages. Um, if you have questions, come to me. But at some point, you got to take off the training wheels and just do it. All right? You can do this. You wouldn't be in the master's program if you couldn't do it. So good luck. And I look forward to reading what you come up with. Thank you. Bye.